from creation of an API blueprint all the way to the deprecation of an obsolete API. APIs in MuleSoft pass through a series of stages, and in each stage, different components of MuleSoft AnyPine platform come into play. In this video, I'll be talking about MuleSoft API lifecycle management in detail, and I'll be explaining all of these uh, lifecycle stages of an API in MuleSoft. And I will also explain the role of different components of AnyMind platform that come into play in different stages of an API lifecycle. This video is part of a series of MuleSoft related video tutorials on YouTube channel of Tutorialpedia.com where I am covering different topics related to MuleSoft integration in general. If we talk about the lifecycle of an API in MuleSoft specifically, there are different stages through which an API passes and that's what we will be explaining in detail in this video. At a high level, the first stage is the design phase and then after the design phase, API is implemented in the build phase and once it has been implemented, it, it, its output is in the form of a deployable artifact which is then deployed to the runtime and then comes the crucial part of managing and uh, ensuring the seamless and proper performance and operations of an api and last but not least once an api has been uh, made and uh, made obsolete and it's being deprecated then we have to retire that an api that api and bring in a new version to uh, to keep the business in continuation so we are going to discuss all of these uh, different stages of an api in detail in this video first of all let's talk about the design phase which is the first phase and this is the phase where MuleSoft API Designer comes into play. So using MuleSoft API Designer, we define API Blueprint in the form of RAML or Open API specifications. So when we are creating that blueprint of an API, we define the resources, we define the endpoints, we define methods, request and response models, the type of security that we are going to use and kind of error handling that we are going to implement. In this phase, we also uh, mock our APIs and get the feedback of the developers because we have to go through a series of uh, uh, si different cycle and iteration uh, within this uh, design phase to get review. And then based on that review, we continue to evolve. And finally, we come into a position where we have a proper, well-defined, properly structured and agreed upon blueprint of the API in the form of the specifications. So design phase is a very important phase uh, for uh, a design uh, first approach of API-led connectivity and when implementing or when designing the APIs, we need to focus on this phase uh, which is uh, going to be the basic building block of our API and which is going to set the foundation of our project. So we need to be very critical, we are very careful and very specific when we are designing the blueprint. We need to specify each and everything in clear uh, when we are creating it either in the form of RAML or open API specifications. We need to be very clear about what kind of request and response models we are going to use, what kind of uh, HTTP status course uh, we are going to use, what kind of endpoints we are exposing and what are the associated methods that we will be using and what are the security schemes that we will be using for our APIs. And based on that, uh, we create a proper uh, documentation of uh, our API, which is being designed. And then we get the feedback of our developers. And based on the feedback, we keep on evolving. And finally, we come up with a proper structured open API specifications or RAML specifications. Once the design has been agreed upon and completed, the next important stage is the build stage. And in the build stage, MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio is the major player. MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio is an IDE where we are actually implementing the entire uh, skeleton, uh, entire business logic of our API. So we do the development of all of the operations which have been made available through the, uh, through the specifications in our design phase. And in order to do the development or implementation of our, an API, our APIs, we use all of the available features of AnyPoint Studio be it different connectors from any point exchange or readily available connectors, different type of modules and message processors within those, 
and we use data weave uh, as a scripting language and we also have all of the other uh, features available in anypoint studio i'm not going into the nitty gritties of the features that are available in anypoint studio because i have already created different videos on this channel where i have explained how you can do the implementation how can you how you can use the connector how you can import the open api specification or raml and then build on on top of that so during the uh, build phase uh, or implementation phase we also do the unit testing and also do the integration testing of our apis and we refine it and we continue to refine it to make it acceptable and once everything is acceptable then we come to the next stage which is the deploy stage the deploy stage uh, expects an input in the form of a deployable artifact so once we have a deployable artifact available then we need to deploy that into the ap into the runtime so in this case uh, runtime available be it in the cloud or its on premise that's the important uh, component that comes into the picture and in order to deploy the api into the runtime uh, we first have to package the application and make it available in the runtime in different environments for example you might have development environment you might have test acceptance production or even pre-production or any kind of environments depending on the requirements of your organization and one and iteratively and um, step by step you have to move your apis or your application that implements the api into all of these environments in order to do the deployment of your apis or application that implements that apis into the runtime manager into the runtime you have different options available in case of mulesoft anypoint platform you can have automated deployment using ci cd pipelines you can uh, directly do the deployments through the runtime manager and even you can directly do the deployments from the anypoint studio so there are plenty of features available and mulesoft anypoint platform is quite rich uh, with respect to the options made available for the deployments and you can do scripted deployment or you can do the manual deployments through the graphical interface the next important stage is the manage stage where you are going to do the management of your apis and in this case in this stage your api manager is the major component that comes into the picture and in this stage you manage and monitor your deployed apis for that purpose you manage api traffic and apply policies in order to manage the api traffic and to apply different type of policies and for api governance you use mulesoft api manager where you can uh, in, you can incorporate and configure different type of policies like throttling policies rate limiting policies uh, blacklisting and whitelisting policies and different type of other policies like uh, rate quota policies and uh, uh, and depending on your requirement you can use uh, uh, other policies as well which have been made available through the api manager and then you also uh, do the monitoring uh, of the performance and behavior of your apis at this stage and in that in, in, based on your performance uh, based on the behavior of the uh, apis and the monitoring that you have configured you can perform the necessary troubleshooting as well to make sure that your apis are performing as desired then last but not least uh, stage is the retirement stage any api that you implement has to go through all of the previous stages but there can be cases where you have an api which needs to be retired which needs to be de deprecated and which is kind of redundant or, or obsolete and you want to bring in a new version of the api and just remove the previous one so there can be a case let's suppose you have an api with a version 1.0 and it has been into the, your production environment for long but now you need to introduce another version uh, 2.0 or maybe 1.1 a minor version or a major version and previous version you want to just deprecate after a certain uh, uh, period of time so that's what you can do and that's the uh, stage that's a stage where you uh, just retire you announce the retirement of the previous uh, api and make it deprecated and then you bring in new version into the picture and this way you constantly evolve when you provide new features and new uh, new services and new face functionalities uh, for your developers who are going to use your apis and you you just uh, throw away old apis which are no longer uh, valid or which are no longer uh, relevant so that's it from this video i hope that uh, this information that has been conveyed in this video uh, related to mulesoft api life cycle stages will be helpful for you and uh, uh, based on this theoretical information 
I will recommend you to go through uh, other videos that I have already added in this channel and uh, there you will see all of these things in practical how these how these different components of uh, MuleSoft any kind platform come into play and they uh, serve the required purpose of having seamless and efficient integration and also you can visit my website tutorialspedia.com where I have plenty of tutorials uh, related to MuleSoft and other integration platforms. That's it from this video. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to uh, provide your feedback in the comment section and uh, press the bell icon and subscribe the channel. Thank you.